It doesn't look like much, but people wait 10 years to own a guitar made in this small wood shop. And this man, who some call a living legend, Wayne Henderson, is the reason why. He made his first real guitar when he was 17. But when he was seven or eight, he made them from boxes and fishing line. Tune cow wheels. He played us a song on guitar number 400, one that he kept for himself. As Henderson built and played guitars, he built himself a legacy. Today, he sells a guitar for about $4,000 but they bring 40 to 50,000 on the open market. You know, like I've been, I've been offered almost that for this one, you know, and, but I, I'm not interested in that. I mean, it's always cool to have money, but I never had any when I was growing up, and so <laughs> not much use for it now, you know. These days, Henderson makes about 40 guitars a year, not many, but more than the three per year or so he made during the three decades that he was also a mail carrier. Around this neighborhood in Appalachia here, you know, it seemed like nobody had a lot of money. You know, we had to make or we had to grow what we ate and uh, make what we had. Wayne has always lived within a mile of where I'm standing right now in Rugby, Virginia, population seven. Because of his guitars, he's traveled all over the world but he always comes back. I've played in Sri Lanka and, and uh, Africa and Pakistan, all over Europe, and uh, been to South America, and, and uh, just all because of my music. Once, he even played Carnegie Hall, one of the biggest thrills of his life. The limo driver asked him what he would do for an encore. And he said, playing at Carnegie Hall, now after you do this, what in the world do you expect to do? after you've played there, you know. And I said, well, next Saturday night, I'm going to be, going to be playing at the Rugby Rescue Squad building. And so he does. He plays well, but he says he's better with tools than guitars. Henderson shapes the parts you never see by feel and by ear. Oh, that sounds a lot different. Oh, yes, he's really coming into it now. He brags about the qualities of his beloved Appalachian spruce and of rare aged Brazilian rosewood made resonant by fungus. But this stuff, you know, you get sort of balanced and... Can you hear that ring? That's almost like no other kind of wood. But he says it's the beauty of the intricate inlays that make a Henderson guitar most coveted. From abalone shells, he cuts intricate shapes, which he carefully embeds in the wood, using first a router, then a pocket knife, black super glue, and a deft touch. That actually looks pretty good. Eh? Wayne is working these days on guitar number 537, but a few years ago, guitar number seven made its way back to his shop. But it's made in 1968, and uh, all this inlay around here was done with uh, every bit I've done with a pocket knife. Still a teenager, he originally sold that guitar to the friend of a moonshiner for $500. When it came back, it even had a bullet hole in it. No matter, he bought it back for 200 Today, he wouldn't sell it for anything. After all, that's the guitar that got Wayne Henderson into the business of making guitars in the first place. In Rugby, I'm John Carlin for the Fox 2127, 10 o'clock news.